4D Lucky Cat with a Moving Hand and Paw Acrylic Nail Art Tutorial by Hot Pink Zebra Polish. Hi everyone! In today's video I'm going to be showing you a Lucky Cat. So this is going to be a very gold Lucky Cat or a very gold background, a chrome background with a white, red, black, and gold Lucky Cat on it with the 4D arm that moves. Now it doesn't move on its own like most of the actual Lucky Cats do. This one it moves when you move it yourself but still it moves it does the little waving thing so i hope you guys like it and don't forget to click subscribe to see all my future videos as well so to begin with since i did paint over the nail later on with gel polish i'm just going to make uh, the nail with clear acrylic but you could really do it with any color you'd like um white natural color a pink whatever whatever you have in excess is perfectly fine for me i get a huge jar of clear acrylic just because i use it so much for so many things every single design that i have the most of that so it's what i buy in bulk and so that's the least expensive to use so that's why i do these nails with clear if it's just going to get covered up anyway and then i'm going to be finally get into shape with my e-file making sure that it really is nice and smooth i will be using some chrome powder on top of the gel polish and so that you really want as smooth as you can get it just to make sure that it has a really a smooth effect for the chrome and then i'm going to be basically buffing the nail with a very fine bit removing any of the scratches that that first one may have left behind and then applying, you know, depending on your gel, you know, one to two coats of black gel polish and then a layer of no wipe gel top coat. And then after those are all cured, I'm going to burnish in some gold chrome powder. So as I said, I do want that to be really super duper smooth so that the gold chrome is very, very mirror like. Remove the extra dust and then apply a layer of gel sealer over the top and cure it one more time. So now I'm going to be gluing a bead onto the nail about halfway up on the side. This is the side where the arm is going to be that moves. And I used a gold bead just so it wouldn't show up too much. And then I attached it a little bit more securely with a bit of white acrylic. Taking a piece of wire that fits through the bead, I'm going to bend the one end at a 90 degree angle so it creates a little stopper. Cut off as much as you can of that stopper so it's just a little bit of an end that's got the little twist on it so that it won't go through. And then take and cut off a piece of a straw. This is going to create a little bridge. So then cut the straw so that it makes a little bit of a C shape instead of a full circle and it'll fit over the top of the bead and then glue that straw up and over the bead to protect it from getting any acrylic on it and so that the wire is still free to move within that little contraption that we're making right now. So just set that on there. You can kind of move it around and sort of press it down and get it glued as you can see you can see around it so it's not going to as you're sculpting up and over the top of it you're not going to get it so that your wire is permanently stuck in one position and now i'm going to be like i said sculpting up and around my little my little wire and bead contraption with a little bit of straw there and as you're working on it continue to make sure that your wire isn't stuck so wiggle it around every every couple minutes just to make sure that it isn't getting attached and I'm making first this with white acrylic I'm going to be making the body of my cat and you have to kind of build it up a little bit more than you may have normally just so it doesn't look weird that that little bridge of straw is sticking up on one side you want it to look even and smooth and then I'm going to be adding the head of my cat at the top of the nail it's just sort of forming it into a nice smooth oval to start with and just add the white acrylic I'm using is very opaque so it's really nice for doing these things and it's got a gorgeous um, sculpting it with it is just marvelous it holds its shape beautifully just keep working on it adding little bit by little bit here's a hind leg and as you're working on your lucky cat um, e either if you have one that you're basing it off of specifically that may have some sentimental meaning to you or if you're just looking for a different lucky cat you find on the internet like I did there's a lot of different um, shapes a lot some different color themes there's different um, things that still fall into that traditional lucky cat appearance that just give you a little bit of creative freedom to play around with it so you can definitely do different different things and they have um, some symbols on them and those the same thing those are those vary from lucky cat to lucky cat honestly I have no idea what the ones on my lucky cat mean so you know who knows maybe they mean soup you know that classic thing where somebody gets a, a tattoo that has Chinese symbols and that turns out it says dumpling soup or something I don't I have no idea Anyways, so my lucky cat is holding a gold sign or a ticket or something. Um, so I'm going to be adding that with gold acrylic now. The gold acrylic that I'm using has a really nice metallic finish. It's not quite as metallic and smooth as the chrome background. And if you want it to match the background, then you can go ahead and paint, uh, sculpt it with whatever, whatever color you'd like, and then paint it with the black gel polish and the top coat, and then put the gold chrome powder over it. I thought my gold acrylic was good enough. I added another layer of white acrylic over the face of my cat, and then I used the 
um, the belly of my brush to push in for just the very beginning of the eye socket area and the bridge of the nose and I'm going to intensify the bridge of the nose and then add the little kitty nose on the end of that just like so so for that first just to kind of work in the very first shapes of the eyes you just want to push in with the middle of your brush the belly and kind of just get those eye sockets indented and that'll really set the pace and kind of give you a nice baseline to do the rest of the rest of the cat's face and then add the stationary arm holding that little gold sign there so that one doesn't move just the other one is going to be the one that's moving from the elbow and then I'm going to be adding the ear so I'll place down that bead and then like I said the acrylic I'm using is really nice to sculpt with and so I can kind of push it and sculpt it up off the end of the nail a little bit the edge of the nail which works really well so you can just kind of press it up and out and it'll hold its shape really nicely and as I'm saying I love this acrylic so much I should probably tell you what acrylic it is that I'm using it is the divinity sculpting acrylic I think that's what it's called from Koopa it's wonderful. It's great acrylic. I love their acrylic. I use the clear. That's the clear acrylic that I use. It's I love all their acrylics. They're, they're great. So I highly recommend those. And then I'm going to take, after I have both ears sculpted, I'm going to be bending that wire, which will be the armature for its arm. Huh, arm armature. And then I'm going to just make sure that still bends good. And I'm going to cut off any extra so it's the right length, just with my fingernail clippers. So you can trim it off however... Uh, with whatever you have that'll work and then I'm going to try to wedge a nail form backing underneath that little wire arm and I'm using some poster putty to help it hold to help hold all of that in place so it doesn't slide around and wiggle on you as you're sculpting on it because that's no fun if you're sculpting on it and then it suddenly moves and it ruins the whole thing you have to start over so just try to squish something under there so that it's not going to move too much on you and then with more of the white acrylic on top of the nail form backing i'm going to be sculpting out his arm so i'm going to just sort of cover the wire to begin with and make sure that it's not showing as much as possible a little bit right at that area where it attaches to the cat it may still show because same thing you don't want to get any of this acrylic on the rest of the nail so it's going to make it so that your wire doesn't move you want to make sure that you keep both these pieces very separate and not permanently stuck together and so then after I have that base of the arm done, I'm going to just get rid of that nail from backing because it's kind of a hassle to hold it there. And then add another layer over the hand, over the hand mostly, and then just a little bit to kind of touch up the arm here and there wherever it's needed, but focus the extra thickness mainly on the hand. And then I'm going to be taking with red, gold, black, and maybe a little bit of white paint. I'm going to be adding all the details to my cat. So I'm going to start filling in the ears with red and then adding sort of the color area with red and then kind of filling in down kind of like it's a a bib I guess but like a fill in the chest area with red just like that and if anybody knows what these different um, things mean or anything please comment with them I have no idea obviously if you haven't been able to tell that so far but then I also used a little bit of gray paint just to add some shadowing on her just a little bit not too much I didn't want to overshadow it or over outline my cat I wanted to leave it pretty simple but with a very light gray you can just sort of subtly define different areas and give them a little bit a little bit easier to tell what's what and then going back to the red I'm going to be adding the little definition on the cat's toes and then I'm going to take gold and add a circle in the middle of that red area on the chest and then add little spots here and there like I said I am basing this off of an image that I found on the internet so I didn't just make this up this is actually how one of them that I saw looks and then here are the symbols that are on that little sign just like that kind of fill those in and make them how I don't know what that is what that says but you know add those and add a couple outlines here and there if you want just to sort of define any areas that you think you need to make these lines thinner than your gray line so that the gray lines still show up and look like a little shadow but just go ahead and outline anything that you want to stand out a little bit more and that's completely optional you can leave it a less outlined and less um, structured looking less I don't know exact leave a little bit more I don't know soft looking fill in the nose with red and add the little mouth with red and then add the eyes so I'm going to start by just adding the pupils of the eyes and then kind of adding the eyeliner going up and around do it uh, when you're doing eyes don't rush the process try to work slowly so that they are as symmetrical as you can as you can get them without having to redo them a bunch of times I added a little bit of gold around the eyes and I'm going to be adding a couple little flecks of red above and below the below is for whiskers and above it's for like little eyebrows and then if you want you can add just a little touch of white as a reflection in the eyes just to kind of brighten those up that's again totally optional I with white added some little uh, designs on the red chest just like that a couple little couple little swoops 
and then there's a little reflection in the eyes. And then I'm going to be applying that top coat over my Lucky Cat. Same thing, making sure I'm not going to be gluing that arm down. You want to keep it as movable as it can be. And that is it. This is fun. This is a very uh, optional design. You can kind of play around with it as much as you like. I really like the way it turned out. It reminds me of a Lucky Cat that was in a salon I worked at a couple years ago. So, yeah, just kind of a little, huh, that's cute. I hope you guys like it as much as I do. And please share recreations with me on Facebook or Instagram. I'd love to see them. And I will see you in my next video. Bye!